Rejoindo Arizona where you're watching Labyrinth TV. And Bill Wooden going to give you a little history of Prophet and Arlen. Bill Wooden, what do you know about this Prophet and Arlen? Uh, the Prophet and Arlen, we say God bless our country. But then we just have a short brief history for the Prophet and Arlen. The Prophet and Arlen, they will sit to a river between the two rivers. We had the most rattle river, we had the Stockton Creek River. But God made the most rattle river and the Stockton Creek River had a short brief history to give the teenage of the Prophet and Ireland. The Prophet and Ireland when our people were free from America to Africa to send them back to Africa. We had a governor at that time was not president. We had four coffee. Four coffee arranged for the three ship to bring Africa back to Africa. And then the three ship was the Mayflower the Nathidas and the Nathigator. And those people, in arrangement, Paul Coffee died. When Paul Coffee died, then we had an organization that took over, which is the American organization, the ACS. When they took over, they decided to send the people back to Africa. And when they sent them the king, they landed the first place, was in Sereloon, the island, Sereloon. They landed on, the island of Severlon, when they landed, they had the government at that time. The government was called Paul, the government was called Makas, one Charles Magas, who was the government at that time. When they landed on several islands, yeah. when they landed there, the name was Paul Magas. And Paul Magas said he was going to hang him at that time with his people. But because of the British, in the American war, poor my guy, people taught a lot. They said if the people who are going to live on that land, they must take the land away from them. Then my guy came back to them and told them this island, you will not live here. So they got on board. When they got on board, they lived there. Some of them died from mosquito breath. But after the farmer resort came out, they were not going to accept them to be on that land forever. So they had to go on board. When they got on board, they came through the Atlantic Ocean. When they came the border with the bar mud, they saw Cape Moss Rattle. They went through. It's a long piece of land that's stretching to the sea. But when they went, there was no tiny end, no tiny place. So they came back. When they came back, that place was not too consistent for them. So they came back, they got on board. When they got on board, they came. They bought up with a place that today we call West Point. At that time, we're not called West Point. So when they bought on board, they came. When they came, they had a border with the Provident Island. When they landed here, our people were here. They only used to come to break wood. Some of them were living here, but they used to come to break wood meeting. When they came and did the break wood, they saw the black, they saw the white. And then riot began between them. Because so the people that were here at the time, how do you call them? The people who are on the Prophet and Baptist Island, what do you call them at the time? Call the Dengola people. The Dengola people. Yeah, the Dengola people, the Dengola people. Bazoulin, Mesa, with them, they speak all language, all dialect. But at that time, they couldn't understand English. They couldn't speak English. So when they came, when they saw those people, they felt that the people were going to take their land in black and white. So they start fighting among themselves. They start fighting among themselves. So we had a king at that time. We were called King Saboso. King Saboso was living. So King Saboso was a king at that time on the Prophet of the Island. King Saboso was a king at that time. He was living in Bopolo, but he used to come. He was a trader. He used to sell Pula, not to our people, sell salt, sell other things to our people. So King Saboso was able to speak the Dame Buddha, the Dame Basso, and then he was able to separate it back to them to speak the English. So when he came, out the people that came from America, he said, where are you people came from? They said, oh, this is our land. People send us back to our home. There's nowhere near our home. So this is our home. So King Saboso came and settled the dispute between them. Where they settled the dispute? So he was came back to settle the dispute between the additional Liberian and the American, American, American Liberian. So when he settled the peace between them, they were on the flowering cutting tree, the oldest tree in Republic of Liberia. But this tree had then died and fell over the building. So the government had then renovated the building, they renovated it in a 
like world tourism the experiences live before we stop at it or we'll end it again the second that this piece on the oldest cutting tree from 1822 to 1823 that where the welcome then on the mainland where you see the mainland between C W A and Aka right here the welcome then on that land and then it was still no going on standing was between them and it began to have a clash. They started fighting again. They started fighting again. And the king of Prime Hill, Prime Hill again. And the king on the side of Prime Hill, they had another clash. And there was a last clash. But the first clash was over the historical well. When the king they met the well after the water got finished, the well was not too wild up. It was just a small well, but the people used to drink that well from that well. But when the king, because the king was smelling, the king was a lot of things. So the king wants early morning to start making the well wild up. And then the additional people say, What is going on? The people are going to take our land. And we go to the land. They begin to fight. And a small riot again. The king came and settled that dispute between the both parties. And this well, God bless the well, is still at the Providence Island. The caretaker lives here for so many years. They are still using it. So thank you for watching. You you are watching Labyrinth TV. Thanks. This is uh, uh, the ship that the Labyrinth, the Free American Slave landed on 1822, and this ship is called the Mayflower.